You can tell you're passionate about something when your heart beats a little faster about it. When you get really excited, when it wakes you up at night, when you dream about it. And, you know, travel, people, cultures, like those are things where I'm like, woo, woo. You know? So I get excited about those kinds of stuff. about to take a shit, wait. He's literally about to take a shit in the rain. Oh my god, I fucking can't. <laughs> so people here love to express themselves, and as I'm walking around, I'm noticing that form of self-expression popping up all over the streets. So I met Fiona. She has dual citizenship, and she showed me some of the street art around Buenos Aires. It's incredible because you can see the passion through art. Art is very political and art is a form of rebellion. And through the street art in Buenos Aires, you can just tell that it's something that everyone can get behind. So this is La Boca. This is a very iconic uh, neighborhood in Buenos Aires. It's, it's very picturesque, it's very beautiful. It's also a neighborhood that has a lot of social conflicts and a, a very complicated history. This is a mural that commemorates the disappeared during the dictatorship from 1976 to 1983. Argentina suffered many different forms of violence and kind of the most well-known one is the disappearance as we call them. And in, during those years, 30,000 people disappeared. All of these pictures here in the background and the names uh, are names of people that disappeared during those years. To see also a woman, and especially a woman wearing the white headscarf that represents the mothers and grandmothers, portrayed with so much strength and, and, and power is really beautiful. I think it's, a, it's an amazing way to honor them. Having that past, having so many years of, of repressed freedom, means that now we are a population, a society that does not allow that to happen. No one wants to repress anyone else's right uh, or, or freedom of expression or, or freedom. That culture of Coming together and just making your voice heard is something that she's really passionate about and you can tell, you can feel the passion in her voice. Football is definitely a religion here. So we headed to La Boca, which was the home ground of the football team. And wow. It was basically a party before the actual party. If you think a football game is exciting, go to the streets right before the stadium. That's where the real party is. So I actually just learned you can't even buy beer inside of the stadium. So the best thing to do, what everyone else is doing, is buying it on the street. So I found the most official looking place to buy my beer. It's this door, and I'm gonna get something. So, hola! La boca, venga, la boca. Gracias. That's fresh. So once I learned the team that was playing <laughs> and the chants that they were saying, um, I just started joining in. Viva Boca! Viva Boca! Viva Boca! 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 Viva Boca! <laughs> and basically I was one of them, so um, I'm pretty sure I'm Argentine now. <laughs> so it's a sea of blue and yellow out here, and that's because the opposition's fans can't even attend this game and I can see why it is getting pretty crazy but it's exciting so much energy and I love it regarding safety there's a lot of people there's a lot of alcohol and there's a lot of men you know and so if you're a woman roaming the streets by yourself um, you definitely want to be cognizant and aware of your surroundings but if you're if you're with friends I was lucky to be with the crew um, I felt fine A little disgusted with the amount of side penises that we were whipped out because men, they just feel like the ground is their playground for urine. There was one woman living near the stadium and she was just tired of people desecrating on her doorstep. It was pretty gross.
so I'm starting to realize that passion is very much a theme here, and where we're finding it the most is on the streets. So we were able to find carnival celebrations here in Buenos Aires, and it was really exciting. Can you tell me a little bit about what's going on here, what you guys are doing tonight? Every year we, we make a celebration, and it remembers uh, the slavery, uh, the age of the slaves. Can you show me one move that you do? I don't, I don't, uh, I don't just... dance. <laughs> I, I play the drum. You play the drum. Murugas are groups of people from different neighborhoods who come together and practice all year for these carnival celebrations. They make their own costumes. They make their own music, and even though it's still a fun party atmosphere, there's still a little political underlying message behind it. And I think, again, when, it when we talk about passion, like that's the underlying thing. So I'm not one to get sprayed in the face, but I took so many shots to my eyes, to my mouth. I was not about this. I didn't sign up for this. This wasn't in the contract. Girl, nomads. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> and then I realized it was just like soap foam. But it was exciting because again, it added to the fun, family friendly atmosphere that everyone was about. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> When you think of Buenos Aires, of course you think of tango. And of course, as a tourist, you can pay to go to a show, or there's this thing called a milonga where you can just show up and dance. So I went to the park, hoping to be swept into the arms of an Argentine man for a tango lesson, but that didn't happen. Everyone there was already professional, so I was like, okay, <laughs> let's just, let's see what happens. I got a few lessons of some sort, and it was probably the most awkward five minutes of my life. Wow, wow, impressive, impressive. If you don't know what you're doing as the partner, you are just so lost, and you feel like you're stumbling over your feet. I feel like a baby giraffe many times because I'm just learning how to walk. Have you seen a baby giraffe being born? It's like the four legs are like. It's like, you're not recording, are you? <laughs> it's a very different movement. I took salsa and bachata lessons in the past. They're nothing like tango. <laughs> so just watching people on the dance floor, I was just so inspired. You could see the passion and the excitement about tango in their faces and in their movements, and it made me want to learn even more. I think the passion from Argentina collectively comes from their history. When you go through as much as they did, I mean, passion is in your blood and it's passed down from generations. So I can just see how it's something that's just a part of Argentine culture. <laughs> 